you can use iTunes to rip music CDs so that they can be played back on your iPod. To do this, you need to first load up iTunes, and then from the iTunes menu, you need to choose iTunes, Preferences, General, and then go down to when you insert a CD, Import Settings. Within Import Settings, you can see that we have the option called Import Using, and the default is set to AAC Encoder. Now we can use this option if we want to, but it may not necessarily work with all MP3 players. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to click on the drop down box and choose MP3 encoder. In the details section, we can see the quality that the CD will be ripped at. We need to change this setting by going down to custom and then increasing the stereo bitrate from 160 kilobits to 256 kilobits. The higher the bitrate, the better the audio CD will sound once it's been ripped. We now need to return back to the main iTunes window and we can start to rip our music CD. We can now insert the CD into the computer. And then we need to wait for the CD to be recognized by the computer and also by iTunes. You'll be asked if you want to import the CD into your iTunes library. You will also notice that the title of the CD has been recognized by iTunes. So we're going to choose yes to import the CD. And you will see that beside the first track, an orange indicator light shows that that particular track is being imported into iTunes. Once the track has been imported, the indicator light will turn green and the next track in the list will automatically show the orange indicator light. Once all of the tracks have been imported into iTunes, iTunes will chime to signify that it's completed its task. We now need to go into our music library and make sure that the tracks have been imported correctly. As you can see here, all the tracks have been imported only the album art is missing. If we wish to add the album art, what we need to do is first of all select all of the tracks for the album, right click, and then go down to Get Album Artwork. If we've already created an iTunes Store account, then the album art will automatically download. If not, then we're presented with this message.